First, some context. In the two and a half years I've lived here, I've seen a mayor recalled and a bond measure go down by an unheard of 90%. I've seen three separate lawsuits filed against the city's planning program. The presenter tonight is at the center of all three. There's commonality. They stem from the staff not taking public comments seriously, then treating the public dismissively. One remedy was the hiring a senior position for a director of communications, yet here we are tonight. There can be no doubt of this community's strong interest in the North Shore's future. A visioning workshop was well attended with many common points made. Reminder, no one wanted more development than current zoning. We were asked to join an email list for updates. We've been told to follow social media and engage Canvas, where there's even a North Shore sub-area plan button on the homepage. Late last, last year, I expressed concerns when the steering committee was formed and excluded public membership. I remember specifically expressing concerns about deals being cut beyond the view of the public. I was told not to worry, there would be robust public impact. I only heard of this joint planning commission workshop from a friend. I was surprised. You'd never know from the city's calendar. I've seen nothing on Facebook. There's no email notice. Instead, the city's Facebook page looks like the classified ads and much fluff and little substance. Certainly no word of the public's first chance to see two planning options for the North Shore being presented to our two key advisory commissions. Engage Cama says nothing. There's talk about some workshop next month, nothing about this meeting, nothing about how a citizen can get the same first look at the deals being cut as our appointed advisory commissioners. Then again, why invite them if there's no comment on the agenda item? Two maps, both with substantial development dumping traffic on our two lane roads. Never mind the vision expressed by the public at the visioning workshop. These proposals are double and triple the existing zoning capacity per the staff's document on page 13, quite contrary to the people's visioning process. So that's what happens when the public isn't invited. Maybe this is why staff is hiding this from the public. They certainly are not making effort to engage. This explains why there are three lawsuits involving community development. We don't seem to be learning. I was one of two people to support the North Shore vision statement before council. This is beyond that statement. It is a developer's dream. Where is an option three that makes open space more prominent than extending Vancouver into Canvas? Have some public integrity and postpone this item until staff follows what they have promised our citizens. And let's end the broken cycle of Canvas planning. Thank you.